forward on this computer. Okay, so here we are. I'm gonna mute you guys. Mute. Mute. Okay, so we are on week three out of four. We're closing in on it, babies. We're closing in on it. Of dive into director. And this week is about the importance of leading versus sponsoring and making it a lifestyle. Because when I started Sensi, I had no idea how to make money or the importance of growing your team. I had, I had no idea. So um, when I started, yeah, I started seeing the page friends and I was like, oh, it's like a light bulb goes off. And you guys will, you guys will see it too as you keep growing your, your, your team. So if you guys don't fully understand the compensation plan, there are so many trainings on YouTube, um, on our team page, on anchored in leaders. If you're a director and above directors on a journey, they have been about the compensation plan. Um, so if you don't understand the compensation plan, then you won't really understand why it's so important to grow your team. So that's the, that's the first thing that you need to do is understand the compensation plan. If you have any questions about the compensation plan, ask on the team page or ask your sponsor. Um, and sponsoring isn't something that you're ever going to stop doing in this, in this journey. It's just something Chloe tells me all the time, you're going to be replacing the bottom 80% of your team at all times, every single month. And it's true because, you know, people join Sensi for so many different reasons. And I do have people on my team that just want the discount. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, but I'm talking about people who want this, who really, really want this. So, so far this month, I've sponsored two people. Um, and that's my goal every single month. Obviously, since I've hit it mid-month, I'm going to up that. Like, why would I stop talking to people? There's no reason to stop talking to it. Um, and it needs to be a habit. It needs to come so naturally that you're like talking to people and it just naturally comes up. You're like, oh, okay, you know, since he's what I do, they need to think of you. Somebody needs to think of you and be like, that's my Sensi lady. People think of me and they're like, Faith is crazy. She loves Sensi. But people tag me in things because they know that I'm the Sensi lady. And I always talk to all my hostesses about it. Um, I share the journey. I offer the opportunity to people. Um, I make a dream team list. Uh, I, I host parties so I can meet new people. Um, and then I also lead from the front. Like, I don't expect you guys, and we've talked about this before, I don't expect you all to do anything that I'm not doing. If I wasn't sponsoring and I'm coming on here and preaching it, don't do it. So when you talk to your teams about sponsoring, they need to see you guys doing it too. They need to see you getting past consultants reinstated. They need to see you sponsoring. They need to see you training. They need to see you doing all these things. Um, and that's what they need to do. And one thing I want to talk about, and we're going to open this up a little bit. We're going to have a little bit more dialogue this time. I want to know why you guys joined Sunsea. And I'll share my why. Like a lot of you have heard it before, but... When I joined Zensi, I was not in a great place mentally. I had just had my son. I had postpartum depression, anxiety. I wanted to just do something that was completely for me. I wanted to get out of the house, all the things. So I would love to hear why you guys joined. And I never thought I would make any money. I thought those people going on trips were crazy. I, I really thought they were crazy. I, when I heard Chloe talk about making money, I was like, that's only because she's at the very top. And that's not true. That is not true. So I want you guys to open up and tell me your, tell me why you guys joined and if it's changed since you've joined. Because it's really important to know your why. It really is. Yeah, go ahead. You can unmute yourself. So, since I started because I had a coworker named Faith Kayampa. I'm not sure if you know her or not. Um, and every time she would come to the office, she would have these big bags of Scentsy because I didn't realize how much stuff I was buying since I wasn't like physically seeing her. It was just like, oh, that's my stuff. So it was very consistent, very persistent. <laughs> and finally she was like, you should just try it. So for me, it started off like I just needed 
I'm not even going to say a little extra money. I needed a lot of extra money. So I was like, okay, why not? We're going to try it. Moving forward, it has changed. Um, and I think I tell you this all the time, you and Quina, which is crazy because I work with Faith and I went to college with Quina. Didn't even know, I, mean, I didn't even know she was a Cincy lady. And so for me, it's like, you guys are my reality. You know, a lot of times you join, people join organizations and it's like a stock photo of the person that gets the trips and makes decent money. So for me, I started, you know, talking to you, talking to her and like, wait a minute, I can do this. They're regular like me. So now my goal is to be able to either go part-time at my job or to be able to leave it completely. <laughs> I never thought I would say that because if you had asked me this last year, I'd have been like, no, since it's just for extra, I really don't see myself doing this forever. But I really, it's like the more you get involved, the more you see the opportunity, the more you see the potential. And it's like, I think I didn't have that goal because I didn't think I could attain that goal if that makes sense. Um, so it's changed. It's gone again, a little extra money to like, how can I do this um, in a nice way to my boss and tell him, thank you for the opportunity. But yeah, so I can't hear you, Faith, but that's, that's my why. My original was because someone kept showing up with bags. Now it's for a lifestyle change. I am very persistent and I'm gonna take that as a compliment, madam. And I saw a lot of potential in that. And I feel like I see potential in pretty much like a lot of people that I talk to. And I've worked with Ayana and I know her work situation. So I totally get it. And I can't wait for that to happen. <laughs> Cannot wait. Yeah. Best, best thing that ever happened to me, honestly. Um, anybody else want to share their why and if it's changed? Yes, please, Michelle. All right, can you hear me? So, so I have done direct sales for like the past seven years. Um, I used to sell jewelry and I used to be a Danbury girl and I did direct sales as extra money for me. That was my spending money that I could pretty much do whatever I wanted with it. Didn't have to ask my husband for money. It was just a little extra that wasn't accounted for bills. And then I really, I had hosted a Scentsy party after I bought some from one of my, one of my Jamboree customers had had a party. So I bought stuff and then I hosted a party and my mom bought stuff from me and I really had no intentions of ever leaving Jamboree because Jamboree was good for me. And then Jamboree went um, under, so to speak. So I think they're still, they've changed their name like five times now, but Anyway, my, um, I was trying to figure out what I was going to do because they started wanting to sell health and wellness stuff and I didn't want to sell health and wellness stuff. And I had a team on Jamberry. I had a team with my jewelry company too. And actually a few of them came with me to the Jamberry. So I really didn't want to just lose my team and give up my customers and, and all of that. But then I was talking to my mom and my mom actually is who recommended that I start selling Sensi because she tried buying jewelry from me. She's not a jewelry person. She tried the nails. She's not a nail person, but she loves her scents so much that SFR last year, I talked my mom into joining my team as well. So, and she's one of my um, best team members on my team. So, but long story short, I joined again, really just for some extra spending money that I didn't have to ask my husband to spend. But since then, after working yet more jobs that I didn't like. And then my son getting really sick and then finding out just how much I was not as um, important to my old job who happily listed my position for 10 grand more a year than I was making within days of me putting in my resignation um, after I gave them 15 years of my life. So it was kind of a wake up call of my my husband owns his business and I work for my husband and I don't want to work for my husband anymore. Love him. I'd rather have him as a husband, not a boss. So my goal now, and then, and since he's been very good to me, I've grown so much more with this company than I have with any of the other companies. My team is, I would say three times the size as it was with any of the other companies I was with. And it's just been very good to me. And I've seen 
the growth, I've seen the growth in myself and the growth and then my ability to lead and my rocks. I mean, I just had somebody join my team today. I don't even know who they are, they live five away from me. So that was like quite shocking when Faith sent me a text message saying I had a new teamie. I was like, what? <laughs> you know, so I just reached out to her. I'm hoping she will find me on Facebook because I've tried Facebooking, but she's got a common name. So I have no idea who she is. I've never met her. So this will be very good. So, but that's just my why. My why has changed from wanting some extra spending money to now I want this lifestyle. I want those checks with extra zeros on it so that I don't have to worry about how my son's medical needs will be taken care of. If I want to go someplace, how can I do it? Because I'm, t I'm tired of worrying about a dollar. I feel a lot of people feel that way. And it's so nice that you can, you know, with Sensei, you can be flexible and you can spend that time with your son that, you know, and take him to appointments, not have to worry about taking time off of work. That's how, I mean, I got sick and I had to take all this time off work and I was so stressed all the time. So I was like, how is my boss going to feel? Like, I have to catch up on work now. I still have to do this. I still have to do this. And I was so stressed that I think it was making me feel worse. And now, like this morning, I didn't feel good. Me and Liam stumped all morning that's that I can't get I can't get that back I can't put a price tag on that so I completely understand I'm very proud of you Michelle. okay I'm not gonna cry but uh who else wants to share okay Donna how to do this can you hear me we can all right uh, um I was looking into doing something, uh, direct sales. I tried um, Chalk Couture in a jewelry company, and I'm just not into jewelry. Um, Chalk Couture, you just have to put too much upfront money in. And I was talking to Gabby Haran, my niece, one day about light bulbs. And she's like, you got to do this. So after a little arm twisting, I jumped in, and I, I, I'm going to make replace my income so I can retire early. <laughs> I love that. That makes me excited. Okay. Thank you so much for sharing, Donna. That's awesome. And I love Gabby. She's super sweet. Who wants to, wants to share why they joined and, you know, why they're continuing to stay? Oh, Emily. I had to unmute there for a second. Whoops. <laughs> Can y'all hear me? Because I have the little doohickey. Okay, good. Um, so I joined for the discount. Um, I actually approached Faith and was like, look, these washer whiffs, they're bomb. I need, I need them all the time. <laughs> and this was right around the time, I think there was a, it was an incentive trip um, that she was earning. And she had just earned the trip for, was it Punta Cana? I think something like that. Um, and I was like, she's a normal person. She's earning these trips. Like I want to do that. <laughs> so, um, I basically just joined for the discount and followed her lead and like, you know, followed what she was doing. And I was actually pretty good at it. <laughs> so. <laughs> So I was consistently like an active consultant every month. Um, so I bumped my goals up a little bit and I got to go to a uh, similar reunion in Anaheim. That was my first one there. I just went because of Disneyland. <laughs> but once I got there and understood like everything that happens at a, at a Cincy event, it was like a light bulb switched. And it was, it was fantastic. And I got to like, I got to hang out with Chloe and um, she pulled me aside during one of like the little group things and was like, so what are your goals? What do you want to do? What's this? And she was asking me about my team and all of that. I was like, I don't know. I'm just doing like part-time. It's kind of a hobby. And she was like, how many people are on your team? And I said, I think it was like eight at the time. She was like, girl, please. You're not, you're not doing this for a hobby. This is a career for you. And I was like, oh, okay cool. 
So yeah, so my goals have changed a little bit. It's I'm still working it part time because I still work full time. Um, but it's just it's been a blessing, really, getting some extra cash um, each month. So yeah. Awesome. <laughs> we had fun in California. Oh yes. <sighs> we had so much fun in California. Okay, <laughs> who else wants to cheer? <laughs> Hey, Kendra. As I figure out how to unmute, can you hear me? Okay. So, um, I'm actually, when I started, I'm a total kidnapper. It was an incentive for 15 bucks, and I knew the value. I was like, hey, I get the warmer and three bars, score, right? Nothing, like, like there's nothing to lose here. So, um, Totally did that. Um, as I'm going through the checklist and watching all the videos and the training, then I keep looking at the company. I'd done direct sales before for other companies. And um, I was like, oh, this seems like it'd be pretty, pretty easy. It made sense. Um, started exploring more on YouTube and searching um, what different people were doing. Uh, stumbled upon Miss Chloe. And I fell in love. Um, I <laughs> like she like got me. I fell in love with her honesty and just the way that she put it. Um, next, I started looking at you know listening to what Cynthia was doing for other consultants, and I started seeing what it was more like the company, the way that they treated each other, the way that they looked at it. It was a truly a family. And even like coming into to a faith group and I seen that it was an actual family, like it became like, I don't even want to leave. Like, I don't want to let you guys down. Like, and I was like, okay, I have to do this. And I don't know. I was it's just been stuck ever since. Like, I, it's like bigger than me now. It's like, okay, yeah, I'm going to do this for my family, but... I got my whole Cincy family now that I just, I can't let down and we're all in this together. So, um, I was working full time. I just stopped cause we move out of state, but, um, you know, it's, it's become more and more real that like, you know what, I'm not going back to work. I'm going to stay home with my kids. I'm going to help with my mother-in-law and I'm going to make sense in my full time, my lifestyle because there's, there's no other reason why not to. And, and I have really have to be on myself to motivate because I have way too much time on my hands now, but, but that's why. So it's definitely changed for me. But that's awesome. Kendra. I love hearing that. And that's another part of the whole sponsoring and creating a community and creating your culture. Like, I'm glad that you feel that way on our team page because that's all I want people to feel. I want them to feel well. I want them to feel encouraged by every single person, even if they're not, you know, even if I didn't sponsor you, I want, I want to be your cheerleader. I want you cheering other people on. Um, and that's, that's part of it is creating that family lifestyle. So I'm so glad that you feel that. And, and like, I don't even know my sponsor. I mean, She's on my Facebook page and she's like one of my husband's cousins that he's never met because he just recently reconnected with his dad's side of the family, like in the last couple of years. So I don't even know her. And but I was following her and saw the incentive and I was like, Yeah, okay, cool. But it like like I just adopted you and Chloe. I was just like, uh, it doesn't matter. And then when I found out that it was like all the same team, I was like, uh that's like totally speaking to me because I was like, oh, okay, yeah, I was supposed to be here. I was supposed to yep. find Chloe and fall in love with her. So <laughs> it was just, it all worked out good. It was meant to be for me. Good. Oh, that's so good. Okay, good. good. Anybody else want to share? Yep, yeah, you can, yep. I had to unmute myself. Um. <laughs> Yeah, I'm living out of a hotel, y'all, so you just have to forgive me. <laughs> um, so I, like Kendra, started as a complete and total kidnapper because I promised my husband I'd never do another direct sales company again. Um, <laughs> why are you shaking your head, buddy? 
but because you're about to have the record in like month okay no so anyway um when my kit came in our mechanic was at the house working on a car and we just were smelling the testers and i sold a warmer and six bars just from him smelling the testers i didn't even ask he's already bought more from me too so i was just like i didn't even do anything this is easy and i need something that can give me complete control of time and health issues and things like that so i needed to be able to stay home with him as well so it and i had no idea it was going to explode like this i mean i really didn't i never had this happen before <laughs> ever and i did pampered chef for 10 years and never had a team never so this is completely new to me and my why you know my why has definitely changed from kid to career I see this being a career in fact I'm late because I was selling since the out in the hall of the hotel because I got a warmer going in the room and they're like what are you burning in there <laughs> but yeah because <laughs> they're like it smells like lemon cupcakes coming out of your room and I'm like no this is my last <laughs> so yeah it's that easy to do this <laughs> Just like in the balls, she's just out there sharing things. But when you hear all these different stories, that's what you can bring to the table. Think about your why. Think about all the whys that we just discussed, and think about why somebody else, how how it could change their lives. You know, like just that little extra money a month or the, the connections that Kendra was talking about. Some people don't have that kind of connection in those friendships and they're, they want them. You know, some people want to get out. So all these, all these different reasons as to why and seeing that, you know, you can take care of your family um, financially and with your time, you can do that. That's what I need to think about. And yes, since he, I love, I love the money and we'll talk about pay after the recording ends, but it's more than that. It is more than that. I agree. I like, I, like, I got to try to, I knew I had a before since but like, I tell her I love her and I mean it. Like when I tell you guys I love you and I tell you on the phone, I mean it. Like I, I'm not gonna not say that. And I've become such friends with people all across the United States just because of this, like I'm able to do so many different things. Like I'm able to stay home with Liam during a pandemic. Like I was thinking what would happen if I had to work a full-time job and teach him and do all this other stuff. Like I would literally be drowning. So it's been huge for me. And just think about that. Think about that when you're looking at your friends list and you're making a dream team list, you think about their needs and what it could do for them. Okay, because literally it, it could change somebody's life. It could change their situation completely. And some people don't think about direct sales. There's some sort of negative connotation sometimes with direct sales that we don't see because we're in it. But if people aren't in it, they don't know. And that's why I invite people to the team page to check out our culture because I don't want to be like any other team. You know, I want our team to be extremely close. I want it to be it's a place where we can share and we can grow together and we can empower. So just think about that. And I'm really glad you guys shared your why and really think about that when you're having those join conversations. Um, but here's, here's the thing. So if you are not willing to learn how, how to lead, do not sponsor. It's fine if you don't know how to lead and you want to learn how to lead and then you sponsor. But if you're just sponsoring and you're like, eh, I'm not doing anything, that's not fair to, to your teammates. It's not. Um, and it doesn't give them a good, it doesn't give them a good, like, idea of what Cincy could do for them. And obviously you can't make anybody work, but you have to put the time in too as a sponsor. That's just all there is to it. So don't just willy-nilly, like, oh, I'll sign this person up and then I won't talk to them. Don't do that.
uh, I, but don't be afraid to, to not sponsor because you don't know what you're doing because we don't know. None of us know. It's all a learning process. There are things that I've learned in the past few months that I'm like, man, I wish I would have, I wish I would have trained that way in the beginning, you know? And I feel like it's an ever evolving thing with learning and growing and all that. So don't be afraid. And leadership to me is super, super important. Like we all had a kit. I paid $99 for my kit. Some people paid 15, some people got it for free. I don't, I want you to te teach and train everybody the exact same way. You should have a exact same way to, for your sponsors. I have a checklist that I do for my sponsors. I mean, for my teenies and I check it off. So everybody gets the same training. So literally nobody has an excuse now because I didn't used to have that. And I used to be like, oh, did I send so-and-so that video? Oh, did I send, you know, it, kind of all scatterbrained and now I have a checklist and I know what I'm doing. And here's one thing that changed the perspective. Um, I was stuck in director for a very long time, for several years. And I was like, I was obsessed. I was obsessed with the title. I was obsessed with the title. Um, and I was like, I'm going to be a star director. Like I want to be an SSD. I want to be this, this, this. Uh, and when it hit me, I think it hit me probably around last year when I lost my job and I was like, okay, this is a sign. This is a sign for me to go all in. And I can't, I can't do this half-ass anymore. Like I've got to put 110% into this business and really see what it does. Cause I was like, should I get another job? Like, should I get a part-time job? Like, what should I do? All these things were racing through my mind. I was worried about my, the finance of my family because you know I went down from two incomes to one and and since he was making me good money I think right around then I was making about two thousand a month with Cincy last year and I was like okay doing pretty good and then over the year I started focusing more on developing leadership talking to people getting their goals, investing in the people and not the title, not the money, not the title. Okay. I feel like if you invest and train your team and lead them, the title will come. I 100% think that the title and the money will come and shift your focus. Like sometimes you just need to shift your focus and it might not be on your title. It might be on something else, but if you if you water something, it is going to grow. Might take a little more time. Like I look at my squash plants that I planted, they're doing really good. I also planted lemons. Them lemon trees like this big. And my squash are like this big. Plant them at the same time, even the same amount of water, they're completely different. The same thing with your teammates. You have to feed into them. You have to, you have to give. And I feel like if you give, and if you, if you really, really, really put your time into them, it's going to show off in your title, in your pay, in your group, in your team, in all of it. Okay. Um, and that'll trickle down too. That will trickle down. If you're, if your team sees that, like the way I train my teammates, I want them to train their teams. So in the way, <laughs> sorry, I have a little whistler. And the way that I treat them, I want my team to treat their teammates. There's enough room at the top for everybody. Because guess what? When Cincy's making money, we're making money. So they're never going to run out of money. Because if you're making money, they have those bonuses and places for a reason, okay? They make, those, they make those goals tough for a reason. But make sure you start your teammates off strong and help them see the potential of the company. Um, because it's an amazing company. And every month you and your team should be growing. If you see that you're the only one sponsoring, that's an issue. You know, you need to have more training and more talks when you're doing your coaching calls about sponsoring conversations with your team. Um, if you've never done a Sensi timeline, I would highly suggest doing that. I did that and I was shocked. So, I think my first year, my first year with Sensi, year, 
I sold $1,762. Year. <laughs> okay, guys? <laughs> um, didn't know what I was doing. And then I, and then I look at like my team size. My team was one. That was me for two years, for like a good year and a half. And then Crystal joined my team. And then she started growing and I was like, well, mm, wait a second. I need to do that too. Like she lit a fire in me and she showed me like, it's, it's nice to have that, to have somebody who challenges you and who pushes you to grow. So if you don't have an accountability partner, you need to find one because it's amazing. But legit, I see my timeline. If you if you write it out, and if you guys don't have a link to it, I'll um, I'll upload my worksheet and uh, be more than happy to send it to you. But seeing your growth and seeing that you are growing, that's all that matters. Growing at what pace? That's up to you and your team. It does not have to be an overnight thing. Everybody grows at different times. But looking in that timeline, it made me realize, like, okay, this is how far I've come. Like. $1,700 a year to, you know, like almost $30,000 a year in sales. That's a, that's a big jump. And that's something that I should be proud of. Did I get annual sales? No. But was I close? Yes. That's, that's the purpose of those to push you, to help encourage you to do things. And that's what you need to do. So I would highly suggest doing your timeline. Um, it opened up my eyes tremendously about leadership and and how it affected my business and um everything about it so this is what we're going to do tonight for our homework homework you guys have been doing so good with homework too i was like do i want to do homework with this program and then i was like yes i do because i want to see it i want you guys to have a goal of how many sponsoring conversations you want to have a month okay i use the checklist from week one and I try and have at least 30 a month. That's a lot. It's scary. I talk to a lot of people. And sometimes I talk to the same people month after month because I know they're just not ready yet. They're like, check in with me next month. I'm like, okay, I can do that. And I just put them on my list. I put a little note and I'm like, moving over to the next month. That's fine. Um, but that way, you know, some days I, you know, some, Sunday, probably won't talk to anybody. But Monday, I might catch up on and get my two to three combos in. Um, so definitely, I want you to have a goal of how many sponsoring conversations you want to have a month. So write that down and share that on the team page, on the group. And then also, I want you to share your weaknesses and strengths with leadership and, and sponsoring. Because I feel like if we're honest with ourselves, we know what to work on. I still have to work on with leadership organization and time management. I'm not great at it. I'm getting better at it. Um, my leadership has become more effective now that I have a checklist and I'm, I'm putting systems in place because I didn't have systems before and I was just all over the place. Um, but it's still something I, I struggle with. Like I have to keep myself accountable with that. And, you know, it's part of it. So make sure you guys share your weaknesses and strengths because everybody has strengths. You guys, you guys wouldn't be where you are if you didn't have strengths within this company and in this business. So shout yourself out. Be, you know, be honest with, with your success. And that's why I really think the timeline is so important. Um, but yeah, I'm going to open up for questions. And then we're going to go from there. Does anybody have any questions or comments? I haven't seen the chat box. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Okay, Kendra says she has a teeny that is a kidnapper, and she's bummed because she wanted to lead. Oh, girl, I get it. But you can, you can only do so much you know? And that's why once you get that first team member that's like really into it, you're going to see it. You're going to see a huge change and it's going to change the way you think about it. So yeah. Somebody have any questions or concerns or want to share anything? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Good. 
So I think, let's see, concern. For me, I would say any ideas, because it's like we do all this training. I know what to do as far as sponsoring is concerned, but I feel like that's like my weakness. This time around, you know, I've had quite a few that have kind of gone with the wind, but my little group that I have now, I'm excited because even though it's hard to like get in touch with them, I see them doing something and they, they're excited about it. So I'm trying to figure out as a leader, you know, I feel like I need to do what I'm telling them to do and I'm doing it, but I feel like I still need to fine tune the whole sponsoring thing. I don't feel like, I feel like everything else comes natural. I don't mind hopping on and you know, all the things, but it's that I feel like if I could really fine tune sponsoring, I feel like things would propel for me even more um, because the other stuff, I feel like I'm starting to get a grasp of, but that's the one thing that's just like, ooh, just can't see my hand. Which is weird to me because I know that I feel like you're such an outgoing person and you have such a, what do I say about your personality? I mean, people are just drawn to you, I think. I'm drawn to you, I but. I love you I too. Okay. I don't know. But I don't know either. I feel like you just need to have a system for sponsoring. I don't know what that system looks like for you. Like for me, I make a dream team list. I put their name down. I put why I think they would be good. I put how I contacted them and like if I asked them about the earn a kit or hosting a party or if I had a gift, you know, if I had a kit to gift, excuse me, not to gift for no out of pocket cost. Um, then, you know, I talked to them about that. Like, I feel like if you had a system and really went through, cause you have a ton of, you have a ton of people on social media. I guess. Look, her, she's like, I told you, I'm still, I mean, you could, it's night and day from last year and this year. <laughs> cause I'm just figuring all that stuff out. So I don't even know how many which shows I'm not in it for the followers. Cause I don't even know what I have. I can't even, Talk but yeah. To I the live. Need, That's all I got. The, live, the lives are on point. But when you have somebody, anytime that somebody wants to buy from me, I, I don't let them. I know that sounds crazy. I'm like, wait a second. Would you like to purchase $50 worth of Scentsy, which is an average Scentsy order? Or like we saw on the Guide to Growth, they can join for $59 with any open party that you have. Okay. You saw that. And thank you for tagging in in that because I was like, what is she talking Did about? Did you see what I was talking about though? You saw? Yes, the... saw it. So okay. I'm going to try and get Chastity to post it on this group too. So, because I tried to say the video and it won't work, but it's very, very smart. Um, so yeah, like that to me, $59 to start your own business is insane, especially for what you get in that kit. So I really think you just need some sort of system that works for you to make a dream team list or your list of 100, whatever you want to call it, and really make it intentional. Build those relationships first off because, you know, you have different relationships with the different people. You know, you're not super close to some people, and some people you can just go ahead and talk to, it, gotcha. to them about it. And sometimes, sometimes you need to build that relationship a little bit more. Okay, I'll try that. Because that's what I've been doing with the hosting side is, like, let's try to get this for free. So it's become more natural of a conversation, of a segue into partying so i'll just try to do that with the the joint exactly joining exactly piece. that's right. what i that's what i do thanks anybody else okay i'm gonna stop the recording then stop